Well, new this afternoon, we are closing in on Christmas and News 12 went to a local sweet shop in Havistraw to see how one sweet treat is made. Take a look. The owner of Lucas Candies, Nick and his partner Deb, put on one of their candy cane demonstrations for us. And we learned it is not an easy task. It's very labor intensive. We do everything by hand, so uh, it's kind of exhausting. So, but uh, we do enjoy it and it is, it is fun, but uh, we have a lot of sore muscles at Christmas time. Fun and delicious. I've had some of their candy. I gotta say, top notch. Okay, so this is what they do. First, they cook the sugar. Then they pour both the white part and the red part on a grease table separately and then mix it up. Now the tiring part that he was just talking about, turning that sugar white. It needs to be pulled on that cane about 75 times to allow the air to turn the sugar white. Then the red and white part come together and are twisted and cut shaped into that delicious candy cane that you're seeing right there. Lucas Candies has been right there on Main Street for one 126 years when Lucas's great grandfather, a Greek immigrant, came to have a straw when they first started selling the candy canes and again in 2016 when they became a huge hit. It was insane. Um, we had a couple hundred candy canes ready to go and it just took off and our store was packed to the point where we sold 10 times that over 3,000 candy canes in a week. It's so cool to see, right? Those candy cane demonstrations were postponed because of the pandemic. Now this year is the first year back and this weekend is the last round of demonstrations. So go while you can. If you want to see a first hand look at it, head on over to our website, news12.com for a complete schedule.